Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? I see a lot of people struggling with the Apocalypse Burnout Trophy. That's the one that requires you to drift in a circle while burning nitro for a consecutive five seconds. I see a lot of people struggling with that one, so I put something together that will hopefully help. The best I can do really is to show what has worked for me. Uh, so what I recommend doing, if you're a trophy hunting and you're trying to get the Apocalypse Burnout Trophy, you'll do best by waiting until you get to the end of the game and wait until you have the bike maxed out. Once you get to the late game merchant in the Diamond Lake camp, then you can max out the nitro on the bike. And that's really what you need to do. So if you take a look, we're at this merchant here in Diamond Lake. We're all the way on the western edge of the Crater Lake region at the Diamond Lake camp. And this merchant here sells the top tier end game motorcycle upgrades. So you go into performance, you go over to nitro, and you will see that he has the level three nitro. This is the one that is required to get this trophy. Uh, you need to burn nitro for five seconds consecutively, one long five second long burst of nitro. So you have to have the maxed out nitro in order to get that full five seconds of burn time. Note that when you initially equip nitro, it says in the description, adds a speed boost ability to your bike, hold X. So it is required to hold down X in order to do a sustained burst of nitro. In some games, you simply tap the nitro button and hey, then you're in, you're using nitro boost. In Days Gone, you must actually hold down the nitro button in order to do a sustained boost. Also, I do not find this necessary myself, but other people have said that it helps. If you go to the tires, and if you select the early game crappy bald tires, that is said to help. If you will notice, the end game top tier tires are very knobby, like off-road motorcycle tires that grip the terrain really well, where the early game tires are old, crappy, bald, slick tires that will slide around and not grip very well. So some people have said that this helped a lot. Equip the level three nitro, which is required, and also equip the crappy early game tires that are very slippery. Uh, so be aware of that as well. Again, I don't find that to be necessary, but a lot of people have said it helps. Now, here is where I like to go to do this. It does help to have a nice, flat, wide open area. So the location that I go to, I go all the way up to Lost Lake. We're in the Lost Lake region with Iron Mike's camp. And you go northeast from there to Sherman's camp. This is where the Sherman's camp horde will spawn. Now, we're not going to trigger this horde. We're going to be southwest of the horde right here on this southern corner of this parking lot in Sherman's camp. That's our nice flat area that we're going to use to do a drift while hitting nitro. Okay, see you there. Okay, so we are at the parking lot in Sherman's camp. We have level three nitro equipped. Again, you can equip the early game tires. I don't find that necessary myself, but that is an option. What you really need to have is the level three nitro and a nice flat open area to do this. So here is how I do it. I use a PlayStation controller. I do not know how to explain this to folks who game on PC. Uh, the controls will be comparable, just it's the same button presses. So I start the bike moving forward. I use the left stick to get the bike moving in a circle. I have the left stick leaned all the way left. I'm now going to accelerate using the right trigger. We're just doing a big circle, right? If you tap the red circle button, Deacon will put his foot down and go into a drift. He's actually drifting in a tight little donut. That is what is required. He must have his foot on the ground. While you are drifting with one foot down like this, you're going to hold the nitro button on PlayStation that is X. And you're going to hold X until your nitro is completely spent. And that should give you a full five second burn time. So we'll go through that one more time. You want a nice, wide open, flat area. 
Use the left stick and accelerate, get the bike moving in a circle. Tap the red circle to enter an actual drift where Deacon's foot is on the ground. While you are drifting, hold down nitro until the nitro is completely spent. That should give you a full five seconds of burn time on your nitro. And that should get you the Apocalypse Burnout Trophy. One other thing to note, uh, some people have said it helps if you are in a wet area on like slippery terrain, rain, snow, mud, whatever the case may be. Again, I do not find this to be necessary. However, if you're using the bald early game tires, if you're using level three nitro, if you're in an area that's kind of slippery where the bike will slide around and you have nice flat, wide open terrain to do your drift while drifting with Deacon's foot on the ground, that should give you the Apocalypse Burnout Trophy. That's everything I know about it that should help. Good luck.